Hello everyone, I cleared program management and in this video, I'm gonna share my lesson learn. My name is Amir Ali and I'm a PMP trainer. I have helped a lot of students in past few years, but today I'm gonna share my lesson learn with all of you. And now this video is being made because many of my PMP certified students said, we wanted to hear your journey. So here you go. First of all, this is my program management certificate. I did program management on 22nd of April and program management exam can only be done in centers like PMP and ACP and RMP. Program management is not, uh, cannot be done from home, only center-based. So I booked the exam and I did the exam from center. How did I prepare? What are the things I'm gonna share in this video? So first of all, in order to give program management exam, there are two things. The first thing is that the uh, application of program management. If you have been into any of the PMI certification, every exam has its own certification process. But with the senior certifications like program management, as well as uh, portfolio management, there is something entirely different. What is that? So if you give PMP exam out of five people, one get audited or out of 10 to get audited, but in program management, first of all, the application is very big. You first fill overall experience, oh, even before that, let me just show you something on the PMI website. If you go to PMI website, once you go to the exam, you have to meet uh, the minimum criteria. And that is, you must have a four year degree, which I had, then 48 months of experience. But if you are PMP, uh, that experience get fulfilled. After that, you must have four years of experience on program management in the last 15 years. So minimum eight years of experience is must. If you don't have eight years of experience, four year on project, four on program, you cannot get that. One thing. Secondly, every single application, every single application goes to audit. So program management exam is divided in two parts, application and then exam. So when you start filling the program management application, first of all, you fill your overall experience, then it goes to five detailed question. Program management has five domains and you have to explain in your application with uh, 250 to 500 words, what you did in each domain, what you did in governance, how did you set up the structure? How did you manage the stakeholders? How did you identify the benefits, benefits and make sure those benefits got realized? How do you, do you work with the risk thing? And you make all these questions and how did you align while doing that to the organizational strategy, strategic alignment. So five domain, you have to fill it. Once you fill it, then the application you submit with all your details. Uh, first in seven to 10 days, PMI review your application completion. Once your application is completed, then they send it for a panel review. Panel review is very interested in program management. PMI does not review it. Yes, you heard me right. Program management, Panel review is not reviewed by PMI. It is reviewed by certified program managers, certified PGMPs. So your application uh, without your name, without your location, so that you are hidden to anyone, not to have any biasing goes to uh, certified PGMPs. They reviewed your application. Now, how many PGMPs review your application? I don't know. I'm not sure about it. Uh, but I will get into that. I will ask PMI later on. But for now, I, I'm not sure. So they review your application and this process takes uh, uh, 10 weeks, almost two months. So I submitted my application. I submitted my application almost in November, December. My application went to two months review. And after two months of reviewed, I got an email that there are some problems in your application and I have to update my application. Now here, let me start sharing multiple people whose services I utilized. Uh, I went to one of uh, uh, 
trainer Hashia. I asked him, I will put his name in description so that if you want his services, you can get it. I talked to him, he provides services in application review. He takes a uh, hundred dollar, I guess. Yes, hundred dollar. He reviewed my application and uh, I wrote everything myself. He reviewed it and then he said, okay, now you are good to go. Now you submit it. One more thing, even before submitting the application, I read the program standards like four times. I read the exam content outline two, three times. You cannot write the application without reading the standards and exam content outline because the questions are specifically asking you, how did you manage this? And you have to answer it in the wording of program managers, in the wording of the standards using that vocabulary. For that, I went through that. In addition to that, I watched Suhail Iqbal, videos on YouTube. I'll put a link there about the program management. He basically put an entire course on program management for free. You can actually watch that. I watched video of Asadullah Chaudhary's 30 minutes video is called breathless program management. That is a very good video, highly recommended. And then I took the course of uh, Vivek on Udemy as well as Leith Muhammad. I went through all these things just for filling the application. Now, once the application is filled uh, and it was audited, it had problem, it came back, I resubmitted it. Again, it took two more months for PMI. I was continuously following up and they were continuously saying this thing. We are sorry, but we don't review it ourselves. We give it to program managers and they takes time. So actually it took this time almost three months and uh, I was talking to PMI on 26th of March and they said me, you, your application has been approved. You will be notified tomorrow. On 27th of March, 2022, my application got, I was very happy because this was an achievement for me. I put a lot of time in this particular thing. Now, once the application was approved, now came the next thing, the most important thing, starting preparing for program management. I look at LinkedIn on every recent program management, and I would like to thank every single person. I talked like almost 40 program managers in last one years and asked input of every single one. Like I am sharing these lessons learned to you. So I took the lesson learned of every single individual just to know how they did it so that I can prepare it myself. Everyone has their own opinion. Everyone gave uh, their own ways, but two, three things started uh, merging. So I took from there. First of all, exam content outline is everything. You need to know exam content outline uh, inside out. I studied exam content outline more than 15 times. I made notes, I made mnemonics, I like made story of each one. How, what does this mean? Actually, every exam content outline is an instruction. I define a high level milestone map with a roadmap. These things, all these things had to be understood. And if you are wondering where to get uh, exam standards, uh, where to get uh, this exam content outline, no problem, just go type PGMP exam content outline and probably first, second link will be this. It can be downloaded free of cost from PMI website. Second thing was the most important thing after exam content outline, program management standard fourth edition. I basically, I'm a PMI member. If you are a PMI member, you can download it. I downloaded it and I read it multiple times. I read it multiple times. I basically, uh, I read it on my iPad four or five times. I took notes from there. I took it on my Mac, everything. I even read one time on my mobile while just laying down, understanding it. I made notes, everything with this. Program management standards, you know, inside out. You must know that thing. Being said that, I am a, a vivid book reader and uh, I am a very detail-oriented person when it comes to that. And I'm a risk-averse person. Uh, program management exam, for PMI members is $800. So I want to make sure that I put my money into good use. I don't want to take risk. So I start, after doing that, I started doing mocks. I asked which are the good mocks and two, three people mocks came there. Leith Muhammad mocks on Udemy, 
Uh, then uh, Vivek mocks on Udemy. I already took their course. I took their mocks. Then uh, Ginger Lemon. His mocks are considered. They were referred to me by Greta Blash, one of my friend, and uh, she's a program manager herself. And I did uh, Ginger Lemon mocks. And then I did, I bought Ginger Levin and did that. Then I lead Muhammad, I bought and did that. Then uh, uh, I did uh, Muhammad box. Then on Udemy, Asadullah Chaudhary has 170 questions on video. They really helped me to understand the concept from his point of view. So I bought those mocks. There were one, two more mocks that's on Udemy. Udemy is like nine to $10. I did bought a few of them more uh, from Udemy. I used that. Uh, then I used uh, Ginger Eleven book on program management exam challenge. So that is more like a flashcard. I loved it. Like first is what is business case. Then they explain the next page. What is business case? What is program management strategy? I went through that book cover to cover two times. It really helped me. Then Ginger Eleven book on program management itself. Apart from standard, I went through that. Uh, then I went through multiple other resources like uh, Dharam has put, Dharam is a program management trainer, lesson learns of many people, I went through that, his map to exam content outline, I went through that, that was kind of really helpful for me, how to put into the context, sorry about the fly. <laughs> so I am always drinking coffee, so sometimes I can come here and there. Okay, I will edit this, I guess. Okay, then uh, the next thing that I did, uh, I started reviewing my concept. I made flow charts, mind maps for each and every single topic, whatever the questions I could get. The program element does not have that much content on everywhere, but whatever the content I can get, I use that. A PM, I also have some standards on portfolio program and organizational strategy. I went through that. Then they have an excellent guide on benefit realization. I went through that in order to understand the benefit topic. To tell you the truth, benefit was a very difficult topic for me. And like, what is the difference between benefit register, benefit management plan, how that aligned, then seeing the program definition and how program delivery is done and then how closing is done. So I went through those things and uh, I read them. So once I felt I am prepared, I have done this for every single exam. I actually booked on Thursday night. Night, I checked all the centers that were available. And that's only one center has date available for tomorrow. I booked the date for tomorrow. So I booked the exam on Friday and uh, I went through it. And the night was very interesting, basically, the night before the exam. I could not sleep properly. I went to bed like at 3, 4 a.m. Uh, I, there was a mistake. I did like 300 questions again on the, after booking the exam. Like I booked the exam at 5 p.m. And from 5 p.m. to 3 a.m. I did like 300, 400 questions. I don't do that. I highly recommend don't do that. Last day, if you are well prepared, just uh, you have to relax yourself. I be, I'm basically kind of a high achiever. I, I want to study till the last moment. But if you can stay yourself away from the books, that is highly recommended in the last time. Okay, being said that, I went to the bed at four, but couldn't sleep till seven, 7.30. So I slept nearly at this time. I got up and then went to give exam. My exam was at 1.30 and I started exam at 1.30. So I had basically after seven minute tutorial and I did watch only two to three minute tutorial because I have given multiple PMI exam and I know how things are. But uh, if you haven't given any PMI exam in recent times, do watch tutorial. Okay, now let's come to the questions. Now 240 minutes starts, I have 170 questions to do. Every single question of program management or at least 80% were like seven to eight liner paragraph. Now, first four or five questions when I read, I kind of felt tired, like what is happening? The, then I went back to the basics, which I teach. Instead of reading the paragraph, now I have taken a speed reading class so I can skim the things. I know that uh, very well. I took actually speed reading class to read how multiple books. Like I read that a normal CEO reads 60 books. I want to read more than him. So I took those speed reading class. And what I did, 
Now the structure of program management questions are very interesting. There's a one paragraph, then there's a one or two liner, and then there are four option. Options are normally one or two liners each. Most of the time, the entire paragraph are just framing story. The entire thing was last line. I started reading only last line and read the option. And if I felt I know the question, okay, this is the answer, it should be this answer. I only went through the lines and just skimmed through them. In this way, I was not getting tired and I speed up. I really speed up very fast. So I was able to do 70 questions in 60, 65 minutes. So I did that. Then there was no break actually, but I took 10 minute breaks. I walk around, I drink water. I did go a chocolate with me, which I recommend everyone to take with in the exam, but I didn't felt that I should have it. So I drink water where like I relaxed myself. After that, I started doing the questions again. Then uh, I plan to take break at 140 question, which I did after like, it was again 60, 65 minutes. So in 120 uh, minutes, I have done almost uh, 140 of the questions. Then I took the break, 10 minute break. And then I went there and in last 10, 12, 20 to 15 minutes, I did th remaining 30 questions. Then I have marked almost 40 questions. I have marked, like how do I basically mark the questions uh, in my exam? I made this thing in PMP and I still am using how I mark this question this way 10%, 20%, 50%, 80%, and 100%. 10% mean I'm a little bit confused. I am 90% sure that this is the answer, but I'll, I just need to review. 20% as it says, like I'm 80% sure and 50% I'm 50, 50, 80. I, ha I have no idea about the question. I am just uh, guessed it. 100%, it's 100%, I have no idea about it. So I put these questions and I have filled all these lists. But when I went back to review the questions, after question, like I reviewed two questions and I changed the answer. Now I started thinking, no, this is not gonna help. I If I have thought uh, about at that time that this is the right answer, it has to be. And uh, I just think, okay, even I had a lot of time left, I just ended the exam. So I ended the exam, once the exam ended, like it asked me, do you want to end? Because I did at the time, I said, yes, I want to end. And then that's it. I got congratulation on my screen and I was overjoyed. So that's how I actually prepared. If I say that I did program management, excluding the application in less than a month. That's true guys. I, my application got approved on 27th of March. And I had a batch going on at that time. So I actually cleared program management with three weeks of effort. If I can do it, you can do it. Now, this is my lesson learned video. Now, from now, what I am going to do, I am again reading those material from the context of the exam I have given. I'm going to make my mock set. I'm going to make my material, my slides, and I'm going to start teaching program management from today. So if you want to become a program manager, I can surely help you. And I'm gonna collaborate with every single individual whose services I utilize. For example, I'm gonna help you in program application, but I'm gonna collaborate with Harsh to also review your application. I'm gonna collaborate with every single one to make sure I make the best program management course and I make the most easiest program management course. So that's it. Many of my certified PMPs requested to make a video and here you go. Thank you very much. I hope you learned something. If you have any question, my number, my email is in the description. Contact me. I'll be more than happy to share what I know. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.